Welcome to Work Smarter TV. I am Martin, and in this video I will show you how to toggle the thousands separator in Excel. Uh, we have the population data for uh, all EU countries in between 2001 and 2012 here. And as you can see, these are quite large numbers. And it would really help if we would have, have uh, like a thousand separator every, like a thousand in a million, that would be uh, a comma in uh, in the US setting uh, because that makes it easier to uh, just estimate how big this is because I can see if it's like 40, 48 million or 480 million like this we do this as follows we select the cell and we go to the thousand the comma style and displace the value this displays the value of the cell with the thousand separator and what happens now is that it says, yeah, that's nice, but I can't fit these commas in here. So we have to adjust cell width as well. And here you can see, now we, we can easily see, it also added two zeros, because it got now to the accounting uh, number formatting. That's what we changed. There's different options as well. Um, but for now, we'll just stick to the thousand separator. So it's added two zeros as well, and that's why the cell became too small, but you can see it. I can now quite very easily see 480 million. Now let's do this for all the cells. And as you can see, we have to adjust all the columns now. We can do this all at once by just double clicking here and it will just see how wide every individual column needs to be. And as you can see, our data is much easier to interpret now. Although let's get rid of the zeros I always use the first one, the, the wrong one first. All right, now you can see the zeros are gone and we can also readjust, make the columns a bit smaller again. Oh, we forgot this. Okay, you can not do this for a whole column because there's other stuff that doesn't apply. There we are. And now we adjust this one as well. There we are. Now, if you have the, uh, the, the decimal separator uh, setting different. Uh, for instance, in, in Europe, we use it the other way around. You have the point for a thousand separator and a comma for the, the decimal points, then this, it works the same, only the result is obviously. Uh, I want to keep the color scheme and keep pestering you guys. Uh, sorry about that. Um, I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button below this video. And if you want to receive email updates when I post a new video and get tips and tricks on how to use Excel in a smarter way in your inbox, head over to my website, worksmarter.tv, by clicking the button in the bottom right corner and uh, sign up for my mailing list there. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you next time. And bye-bye.